Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I am doing another crock pot dinner collab. This one is a retro crock pot mill. So I am making chicken and dumplings because we had that all the time when I was growing up. But this is a collab hosted by Small Town 6, Tiffany from Small Town 6. So I'm gonna have her channel and video linked down below in my description box so you guys can check her, her out if you haven't. Along with the playlist with all the other wonderful creators who are joining in on this collab. But um, again, I'm making chicken and dumplings. We used to have this all the time when I was growing up. It's one of my favorite meals. And I will have the recipe linked down below in my description box so you guys can check that out too if you would like. But let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So these are just our ingredients that we will be using today. Starting over here, we will be, you will need two pounds of a boneless, skinless chicken breast. I'm not really sure if this is two pounds that I have in here still, but it will work. Um, my Pam for coating my crock pot. And then you will be doing salt and pepper to taste, all purpose flour to coat uh, the refrigerated dough. And you will need one 10 ounce package of refrigerated biscuit dough, but I have the 16 ounce, so I probably won't use all the biscuits for this one 10 ounce, 10.5 ounce, sorry, of cream of mushroom and cream of chicken condensed soup. So they need to be 10.5 ounces each. Salt and pepper to taste. Two cups of chicken broth. Um, I think it said two tablespoons of butter. I'll have to look at that again, but it's two tablespoons of butter butter, minced garlic, um, just kind of measure that out as much as you think. And then I'm using some parsley flakes, basil leaves, and onion powder for some more seasonings. And then also you will be using some celery for this recipe. It also called for carrots, but honestly, growing up, we never had celery or carrots in ours, so I'm just leaving the carrots out. But I will do the celery just for a little bit of green. But a little overview again, and let's get this started.
So I'm just going to put the lid on that and let it cook for six hours. And now I will go ahead and do the biscuits. I forgot to show you guys um, me coating them in flour, but you need to do that before you put them in the crock pot. And I cut them into fours and I'm just going to put them on top for the last hour after I shred the chicken. And then we will put the biscuits on top and let it cook for one more hour. But again, this is a collab, so please be sure to check out Tiffany's video linked down below in my description box along with the playlist. And here is the finished product. It was delicious and everyone in my family loved it. But thank you guys for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.